Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. And in today's tutorial, we're gonna be going over Airtable and how we can create a database uh, for our Bravo app. Now, for those of you who haven't used Airtable before, Airtable in a way allows you to build databases in a spreadsheet format. So if you ever made or created spreadsheets before, you'll find it very uh, familiar when we go through how to create a database. Again, I'm going to be building this tutorial off of a recipe app. So we're going to build a really quick database in Airtable uh, holding just a few recipes that we're going to later connect to our Bravo app. Now, without wasting any time, let's jump onto the computer and I'll show you folks how to do this. Now, you can go to Airtable.com. Go ahead, uh, create account if you don't already have one. Um, once you create an account, you'll be introduced to a dashboard that looks like this. Now you may have some demo databases up here. What we're going to do is go to add a base right over here, this plus symbol. We're going to click on that. Uh, we're going to do start from scratch. Now when you first open up the database, you may have the option to name it. So we're going to name it my recipe. Recipe and then put app. My recipe app, I'm going to make it blue. And there you go. Now you can see our database name is my recipe app. Um, if you come to the left corner here, you'll see we have a table, which is what we see right here. I'm going to rename this table to recipes because this is going to be our list of recipes that I'm going to have. Now they do have a t uh, kind of introduction uh, spreadsheet here. We don't need these three on the right so we're going to go ahead right click on the columns and we're just going to delete the fields we are going to keep the first one though All right so the first one right here we can actually right click and rename and i'm going to be make it more specific and i'm going to say recipe name oops all right so the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we plan out and know what our database is going to be structured like. Now, if I come back to my Figma design, we can kind of look at what information are we going to need. So if we look here on our home page and the list of our recipes, we know we need a recipe name and a recipe image. But if we look at our details screen, we have name and image again, but we're also going to need the instructions of how to make whatever recipe it is. So if we come back here. So we have recipe name, right? We can add one for recipe image. What we'll do is in the column next to it, we'll hit that plus add field. We can name it. So this is going to be recipe image. And down here, you can select a bunch of different field types. Now, depending on what type of data you want to, uh, this column to take, uh, in this case, an image is going to be an attachment. So we're going to select that and we're going to hit create a field. And you can see it adds an attachment file and it's going to be a recipe image. Now we can go ahead and add one more field. This one's going to be our uh, recipe instructions. And for this one, we're not going to do a single line of text because our instructions aren't going to be one step. They're multiple steps. So right below that, there is another one and it's called long text. So if we do that and we can hit create a field and now we have recipe name, image and recipe instructions. So now that we have our database set up, uh, we're going to go ahead and fill in the data for each of these sections. Uh, I'm only going to do three just for this example, but of course you can fill it in with as much things as you need to. So I'm going to come back uh, once I have this all filled up. All right. So now that I have all the data inside of this, you can see I have three recipes here. I have images for each one and for the instructions, if I click on one, I can expand it. And you can see that I have instructions for the recipes there. So this again is going to be the data that we pull to put into our actual application. 
And that's it. With just a few simple steps, uh, we created an Airtable account and we created a very simple database using Airtable. Now in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you folks how to actually connect this Airtable database to Bravo so that we can actually start using this information.